Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Thank you for coming back to another episode of Barnet Bound. Today is a big one. We are taking on Portsmouth, who are currently sat in sixth place. If we win, we're back in contention. A draw or a loss, I'm afraid it's going to be a long way back for us. That is how big today is. I'll show you the lead table in recent form in a few moments. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Run the intro. So before I update you on what's been going on, I thought I'd just show you the recent highlights of the last game. Just what happened in the last match, it is utterly, utterly heartbreaking. Our uh, Portsmouth still losing. Portsmouth are losing 2-0. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Five minutes left. Come on. Right. Let's go to attacking. Team talk. Passionately. Push forward. Come on, boys. Come on. Portsmouth are still losing 2-1. Come on, boys. One last attack. Horton. Gardner has it to shinny. Oh no. No, 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 no. Win the ball back. Well done, Johnson. Yes, it. Come on, boys. Break. Sean Bat. What can he do now? Plays it over to Chris Hurd. Come on. Gives the ball away. Gives the ball away. No, no. I cannot believe that. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, pretty deflated after that, if I'm being brutally honest. Pretty, pretty deflated. Since we last saw each other, which was the late Orient game, it has been constant up and down. We won four games out of five. I was thinking, absolutely great, bang on the money. This form is going to get us into the playoffs. We're going to get into the playoffs. And then the last two games, two 1 0 losses, an own goal. And then, as I said, that injury time killer. Retrospect, I shouldn't have gone for it. Shouldn't have gone for the win. But I just sensed that something could happen at the end of that game. Just got it the wrong way around. So, where does that leave us in terms of a lead table? Well, as I said for today's episode, it is massive. We are five points behind Portsmouth. Yeah, just, uh, it's huge. There's a whole cluster of teams that are trying to chase um, into that last promotion or playoff spot, rather. We are one of them. We're five points behind. As I said at the intro, a defeat today, eight points to go, or eight points to catch up, rather. Uh, it's going to be very tough. A draw, possibly, we might still be in it, but a win will set up things massively, will be absolutely massive. But Portsmouth, as we found out in previous episodes on the series, are no easy nut to crack. They are incredibly tough. And, if I'm not mistaken, they have still got the main man who caused us all of those problems last time. Yep, there he is. <sighs> I don't want to play him again. I don't want to play him again. He's like when you when you're at high school or primary school rather and you play against the year above you, he's pretty much that to us. He's the year above and we just can't beat him. Hopefully today can change that. As I said from this match, we are away from home at Fratton Park. It is gonna be a tough one. Enough of the jibber jabber, let's get straight into the game. And fingers crossed we can get ourselves a result. So in terms of the two team lineups, then this is how we line up. It's um, it's a completely changed formation. We've had a lot of injuries, and I mean a lot of injuries to our wingers again. Nathan Broadhead, who's just come back from an injury, out for three months with a broken ankle. That that just about sums up our run of form at the moment. Kieran Bywater's gradually making his way back, and he's on the bench along with Chris Lester. But Bywater has been injured for a lot of the season, so I didn't feel confident playing him. Chris Lester's just poor. He's just an absolutely poor excuse of a player, so I couldn't justify picking him in the team. So we've gone with a new formation. We've gone with a 4-3-1-2. Charlie Horton, Rafferty, Whitmore, Ray and Kenlock. 
Glendon, Riley, Mount, Randall, Youngs, and Sean Bat. A very, very narrow formation. I'm not expecting the two fullbacks to bomb on because we are incredibly weak at the back and I need those guys just sitting there and protecting. In terms of Portsmouth's team, Rossinia, Byrne, Watmore, Stevens, Hollands, Rose, Powell, Chapman, Bennett, and Woolery. That is a decent team. McAvoy's on the bench. Connor Washington's on the bench. When you leave out people like Connor Washington in League One and you put him on the bench, you know you've got a good squad. Oh, God. Today's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Come on. I've got to psych myself up because I've now got to psych the players up. Let's see how they react to this team talk. Um, we owe Portsmouth. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Finally, one of my team talks has actually gone okay on the channel. But yeah, let's get straight into the action. Please. FM Gods, please give me a win. I'm trying to keep an eye on some of the scores in the other games, but to be honest, if we don't win, it's completely irrelevant. Um, if we do not win today... Honestly, I think, as I said, I, I've said it in the intro and I've said it before. I honestly think if we don't win today, I think that's pretty much it for our playoff hopes. Because it's going to take a long way back um, to try and push for the playoffs. But here comes Portsmouth. Bennett just skips past our men far too easily. Stevens tackled by Riley. Great challenge. Right, can we break out? No, we give the ball away straight away. Come on, boys. Come on. Stevens. They're just so, they're comfortable on the ball, just comfortable passing it around. Bennett, Stevens. The highlight's been going far too long for my liking. I'm sensing a goal. Tackled by Riley again. It's everywhere. Callum Riley is everywhere. Bennett advancing too far on goal. Oh, saved by Charlie Horton. <sighs> breathe, breathe. Just tweaking the tactics a little bit and going to a counter because they are they they're doing well when they've got the ball, and I'm just worried. And I think if we can use the pace of Tom Youngs and Sean Bat properly on the counter attack, I think we can have a decent game. But here comes another long throw in, and you can sense already what the danger is going to be. I swear this is literally a carbon copy of the highlight we've just seen. But Ben is advancing on the right hand side. Good ball across Burns. Oh, there's the goal. No one reacted. No one reacted. So Bennett on the right-hand side. Puts a ball in. No one's marking Burns. Header hits the post. Our two players don't react. And Woolery's there just to tap home. Right before half-time as well. Oh, just... That, that goal just absolutely crushed me. Um, assertively, I want to see a better performance. We've got to go up to control. Um, normal defensive line. Um, flexible. I don't know. I just don't know. Pump ball into the box. Why not? Our players look tired already. They look absolutely shattered. This is a big second half now. I know at the beginning I said I wouldn't take a draw. But I'd quite gladly take a draw right now. 62 minutes, time to make some subs. Miles Kenlock has not had a good game. So Elliot Johnson comes on in his place. Um, and we're going to play Max Hazeldean for Tom Youngs. Hazeldean's our top goal scorer. If there's going to be anyone who can get us the winner, or get us an equaliser rather, it's going to be him. Oh God, Kenneth McAvoy's on. 20 minutes left, let's go to attacking. Come on boys. There's literally been no highlights in the second half. Come on. Right, 10 minutes left. Drastic changes need to be made. This is what we're going to do. Attacking. Going route one. And Kieran Bywater comes on in place of Mason Mount. The formation looks absolutely insane. Players all over the place. But we just need to get some width. Some sort of... I don't know. Please. Come on. Come on, Max. He was running too wide. Should have come inside a bit more, but he was just it was going too far out to the wing. Johnson, header. That's poor. That is absolutely poor. 
Come on, boys. I can sense. Team talk. Team talk. Come on. Pause the game. Pause the game. Team talk. Passionately. Push forward, boys. Push forward. Come on. Please. No. Two minutes of injury time. Can there be one last attack? Oh, no. There's not going to be any time. And there it is. Eight points off the playoffs now. Eight points off the playoffs with seven games to go. Mathematically, it's not over. Mathematically, it is not over by a country mile. But it's going to take a massive, massive, massive effort now. I don't know when the next time we'll see each other will be. I will just play the next few games and see how we do. If we can pick up some points, if other teams can lose some points, then great. We'll, we'll take it from there. But I, I just don't know. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, three 1-0 defeats in a row. I'm absolutely crushed. I'm absolutely crushed. It's going to take a monumental effort from the boys now to pick ourselves back up. Um, our last two games of the season are against third and second place. But prior to that, we've got, we're have got we playing against teams who are all below us in the table. So there's an opportunity that we can get ourselves back into this, but who knows? And that will bring this episode to a close. I hope you've enjoyed it. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I need to go and have a lie down. I'll be back with another Barnet Bound episode very soon. Hopefully we can pick up some results and make the end of season of a bit more dramatic. I said eight points to get to the playoffs is a big ass, but... My young boys can perform. They can deliver. I know they can. They've done it at so many points during the season. Fingers crossed they can do it one more time. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I just need to go lie down. I need to go lie down. As always, until the next time we see each other, adios.